Nine Great Varieties of Climbing Roses As a climbing floribunda rose, Dons de Fu combines the hardiness of polyantha roses with the free-flowering nature of hybrid tea roses. Rather than the single flower per stem you see on many rose types, Dons de Fu blooms in clusters, which means you can easily harvest several scarlet blossoms without lessening the display in your garden. Ranging from deep burgundy to juicy plum, the old-fashioned blooms of this heirloom are rightly sought out by those who still value the merits of antique roses. Possessing the characteristic fragrance of many old roses, this plant not only tolerates some shade but requires it to keep the blossoms from browning in the hot summer sun. When 4th of July was introduced in 1999, its candy cane coloring, disease resistance, and spicy scent caused a sensation. Why not pair this large flowered climber with Heavenly Blue Morning Glory on your trellis for a patriotic show? This rose is perfect for organic flower gardeners, as it never needs spraying. A very high petal count and a medley of sunrise hues make Alchemist worth seeking out for larger gardens. The 1956 German introduction will bloom only once in your garden, but its strong fragrance will linger in your memory. Hardier than many climbing roses, this variety will survive winter temperatures down to minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit. It can be grown as a shrub rose as well as a climber. The creamy blooms of Clarence House grow harmoniously with Clematis, Princess Diana, on a rustic pole. This modern climber was bred by English horticulturist Peter Beals and was given to Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother on August 4, 2000, to celebrate her 100th birthday. As fluffy as your favorite peony, the pink flowers of May Queen appear once a year in late spring, as the name suggests. This climber is vigorous enough to compete with tree roots, allowing you to grow it into the branches of your favorite tree where it will blend into the foliage when blooming is finished. This is a very long rambler that will require a tall trellis or fence to display to best effect. When only clear red blooms will do, grow this climber in a sunny spot. Blooming on both new and old wood, flowers will fill the canes from top to bottom. The semi-double flowers are lightly fragrant, and the dark green foliage is generally disease-free, unlike the similar, Don Juan, variety. Although hybridized in 1997, this French repeat bloomer more closely resembles an antique rose, due to its fully double and cupped blooms. Pastel pink, cream, and yellow blooms appear throughout the season, even in partially shaded gardens. In case you need more convincing, the American Rose Society awarded Eden a score of 9.1, which places it in the top 1% category of outstanding roses. Looking for a climbing rose that won't overwhelm your mailbox garden? Warm Welcome is a miniature climber that offers reliable repeat blooming. Also good for containers on the patio garden, you may see this plant listed under the alternative name, Chewis. If you prefer roses trained as standards, tree roses, this is a suitable variety. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.